I'm here in Jerusalem. Behind me is the Dome of the Rock and the Western Wall. Jerusalem is considered holy and sacred by the three main monotheistic religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. What is it that makes place and landscape holy, sacred, and special? What is it that augments space and place to be important to a person, to a multitude of people for years, centuries, and even millennia? I'm here in southern Denmark in a church building that was built in the late 1400s. And I'm thinking right now, is it holy words that make holy places? Or is it holy places that make holy words? Do you go somewhere and that place is imbued with some kind of sacredness? Or do we add sacredness to places and buildings and spaces by the words that we speak inside of them or of them? Maybe sacred places are places where people lived and defended and called their home to make it into kind of a sacred place, it's something a place that's important. Like this place here in Denmark. During the 10th century, this was a Viking village under the king of Harold Bluetooth. Yes, that is where the name Bluetooth that's in all of our phones comes from. You can see here the foundations of these long houses that the Vikings lived in. I'm hiking here in Scotland on the Isle of Skye, and I'm able to explore this beautiful landscape freely because of a piece of legislation passed in 2003, the Right to Roam Act, which allowed anyone who wanted to, to explore nature as long as they behave responsibly. And I think this piece of legislation is interesting because it indicates an importance, or rather sacredness towards nature. It is our right to have access to all of this. It is our responsibility to take care of it. Here in Iceland, the relationship between humans and landscape is manifested through the legends that they tell. With a strong culture of oral storytelling throughout the centuries, the folklore told here changes how Icelanders see their landscape and with it, how they treat it. Legend and landscape are deeply connected. The stories we tell and the language we use are marked on the literal landscape that we see. The West Fjords of Iceland, where I'm at right now, are known as troll country. And it's fitting because these mountains do look like trolls. You can see faces in the rock and their bodies in the mountainscapes that are around here. Every stream, river, waterfall, canyon, rock, nook, and cranny of this landscape has a name. And because of that language that is used, there's this animism to it, a sense of liveliness to the natural phenomena of this beautiful landscape. So going back to my original question, what is it that makes a space or a place sacred or special? And I am starting to think that it's because of language. The language that we tell, the language that we use, makes places sacred.